So day five um, looks pretty good. I have to say a lot of the redness has diminished. Um, my cheeks are still pretty pink and the top of my nose is, you know, still got bruises on it, but they are, the color is turning more brown instead of red. So I think that'd be super easy to cover, but I have broken out quite a bit on my chin, which honestly I'm excited about because it means it's coming, um, up the, that congestion, but I don't want to see it after I put on my makeup. So I've just prepped my skin so far with the serum, the moisturizer, the Zio moisturizer and Zio serum. And I am following that up so far with my Zio instant pore refiner and um, also the my makeup primer uh, just to get started. Um, and then once it kind of sets and melts, I'm going to um, put on some makeup. And I just remembered I forgot to put on SPF sunscreen, so I'm going to do that next. This is me, day five, with makeup. Um, actually, I have fairly decent makeup, but I am no makeup whiz by any stretch of the imagination. I don't contour or highlight or any of that. Th I just don't know how to do those things. Um, so I, ha I used a really nice primer. Uh, makeup primer and I used um, a concealer and Lancome um, foundation on my face with a blender ball. So far I think it's it's covered enough. I'm pretty satisfied. This is probably the best coverage I get on a day-to-day -day basis anyways. Um, for my nose which was the worst part you can see there's it, it comes through a little bit more. It kind of breaks through um, the foundation probably because of the coloring and I don't quite have the right color concealer to um, make that diminished but I still think it just kind of looks like freckles it's not that big of a deal to me um, and probably my purple eyeshadow is highlighting it a little bit and so making it diminish um, and the acne scars are pretty standard coverage so overall very presentable in public at day five with makeup. 